State as we get set to get this one underway. Charlie, what's the big keys, especially for Mississippi State? Bulldogs, and you can say the same for Auburn. Both of these teams are searching for something positive. Now, I think one of the big keys you just mentioned her is Jessica Carter. Bulldogs need her to be more physical in the post. See if they can just plant her under the goal. She's going to have to defend hard against Thompson, but she's going to have to make Thompson work on the other end as well. Sky Grayson out top, guarded by Madison Hayes, the freshman in the starting lineup. And what a nice shot by Sky Grayson. A little pull up jumper, 17 footer. And Auburn has the early 2 0 lead. Take a look at the lineup. For Mississippi State in just a moment. Trying to look inside. And the ball knocked away. Now, Auburn not called for the walk, but does get called for the double dribble that time. So Bulldogs will force the turnover. And Madison Hayes will play it. State leading 2 0. And here's what Auburn's going to do. I mean, they'll try to trap you in the backcourt. Mississippi State has had their difficulties at times with turnovers. Into the corner, the three on the way. Sydney Cooks buries it from the outside. Bulldogs on the board. Looking inside, you need Thompson, left it short. And it will stay with Auburn. 3-2, stay with the lead. There's Nikki McCray-Pinson now in her first season here in Starkville. Came to Mississippi State after three years as the head coach at Old Dominion. Drive right side, and then they block called as they're going to get Carter. Had a foot inside the circle. And quickly, Auburn trying dribble penetration to try to get Carter, who has been in foul trouble a lot over the last few games, trying to get her with a quick foul, and they do. Yeah, you saw Madison Hayes guarding out on the wing that time. She had been a little over-aggressive the sequence before. A nice job by Grayson, just giving a little fake, putting it on the floor, going to the baseline. And once she got past Hayes, Carter was just kind of exposed back there. And Honesty Scott Grayson, the sophomore from Brick, New Jersey, at the free throw line. 75% free throw shooter. There you see Nikki McCray Pinson, Conference USA Coach of the Year last year at Old Dominion. Of course, had that great playing career at Tennessee. And there's the turnover off the full court pressure. And that's the thing with Auburn. They cause so many teams trouble. A lot of times you talk about needing that veteran team to handle the pressure, but they get to old and young teams alike. And Unique Thompson getting the bucket. Put the contact back in. Stay quickly down the floor, gets it to Carter. Well, Thompson was trying to get the contact back in, and what that did is it opened things up for Carter, and it was pretty much five on four for State. Well, look, kind of luckily for Auburn, you don't convert the bucket, and Carter will be at the free throw line shooting too. Yeah, that's the thing. You get those numbers there. If you're Mississippi State, you want the and one opportunity right here. But as it stands, they'll get to the free throw line with Carter. will have a couple of looks. Bulldogs down two in the early going. Well, Jessica Carter at the free throw line. Sixty-seven percent free throw shooter on the season. Carter, averaging fifteen points per game. And she missed the second. So Auburn quickly up the floor. Elena Rice looking for the back cut. State the man to man.
Driving in, couldn't get it to go. Elena Rice looking for the foul, couldn't get the call. Here comes Matharu. Actually, that was Maya Taylor. A spinning shot from Rakia Jackson left it short. Yeah, Rakia going a little bit of a fall away look that time and just didn't get square to the goal. They're trying to bounce it inside to Unique Thompson. That's the thing Unique Thompson does. She does a great job moving without the ball. As Sydney Cooks kind of reached through her to pick up her first foul. Just underway here to start with 5 4. Thompson is tough to defend, and that's been the big key for Auburn here in SEC play. They played without her in the first three SEC games of the year, and they just have not been able to recapture any kind of confidence after losing their first three in league play. Drive in, blocked by Jessica Carter. You know, one of the things you really have to admire about Unique Thompson, this program hasn't always had the success it would like to have while she was there. But this is a player who works hard on both ends of the floor, regardless of the score, regardless of the situation. And you said it, Bart, really one of the best players in the league working without the basketball. Scott Grayson lifted off the right iron. Here's Carter. Spins, puts up the shot, count the bucket and the foul. Key for Mississippi State. If Unique Thompson's going to make you work hard on the defensive end. You've got to come down and do the same thing. That time, Mississippi State got Carter isolated against Thompson, and Carter got the better, the better of the battle. And the first bucket of the game for Jessica Carter. Now at the free throw line, she hit one of two the first trip there. And the old-fashioned three-point play gives State the two-point lead, six and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Here's Reese on the left side. State's going to play primarily in the man-to-man. -man. Scott Grayson looking for the cutter. Got Unique Thompson in a triple team. Puts it off the glass and left it too strong. She was just looking for a foul there. And the Bulldogs up the floor, Maya Taylor. Inside to Carter, missed the shot on the turnaround. She got it deep down in the low post, just couldn't convert. Here comes Auburn. And that's where you want to get the ball to her, but Bulldogs couldn't convert. Auburn quickly back down the floor, gets the layup, and evens this one up. Easy bucket for Elena Rice. And that's her first points. And now State able to break the pressure. You end up with an easy layup. And so the Bulldogs, who turned it over just a moment ago in the full court, Able to break it this time and e end up with an easy bucket, the sixth point for Jessica Carter. Well, that's the key. When you have a team that wants to work with pressure, you're going to turn it over some, but you have to create more easy baskets for yourself than you give the other team. But so far, Auburn getting easy looks, just attacking the goal. Well, Levy able to get the bucket. A shot taken by Cooks. She had Carter wide open underneath the bucket. Carter got the stick back in the point. Mississippi State takes the two-point lead. Well, that's one of those Bulldogs don't have any harm from it because Carter able to put it back up and in, but oh, she is all alone underneath the goal. Look to that pass right there for Mississippi State. Trying to get to the bucket again. Ball knocked free. Here comes Madison Hayes. Stolen away. Reese comes up with a steal and the easy lay-in from Scott Grayson, and we're tied at 11. Here's Cooks, going to drive in, put it up, left it short. And now Mingo Young going to reset. Back to Cooks, got the quick trigger and the spinning shot in the middle of the lane for Sidney Cooks. Well, Sidney Cooks got the green light here early <laughs> on. Yeah, no hesitation at all. Five early points for Sidney Cooks. She hit a three out of the corner to get this one started. Fall away jumper won't go. There's Cooks with a rebound. State with the ball, leading by two. Boy, really impatient look that time from Auburn. Offensive rebound by Carter. Put it up, couldn't get it to go. And able to hit the jumper from 10 feet out, Jessica Carter. That's 10 early points for Carter, six minutes deep in the game. And Carter already with three offensive rebounds. So working hard on the glass. 
Levy out top. Kick out, wide open look for the three off the back iron from Alicia Reese. Cooks with another quick shot. This one off the left side and a whistle and a timeout on the floor. So kind of fast and furious here in the first seven minutes. Mississippi State out to a four point lead. Jessica Carter gonna play physical. Is she gonna get underneath the goal and battle with Unique Thompson? Or was she gonna try to play more of that mid-range game? We've seen her go down under the goal and work hard here today. Yamaya Morris has checked in. Playing down at the low post for the Bulldogs. There's Andy Hughes out on the left side. Driving in high off the glass. Oh my. Nice bucket by Annie Hughes, a sophomore from Dutton, Alabama. Did not have a point in nine minutes her last game out. Spinning shot by Rakia Jackson and another offensive rebound for the Bulldogs, this time by Aliyah Matharu. Matharu has been in the starting lineup, but not today. Now State turns it over as Rakia Jackson. Trying to bounce it inside, threw it right to the defender. Scott Grayson. And tipped out of bounds by Matharu. Albright kind of gives you a variety of looks defending against that entry pass. Sometimes they'll just hold their position behind the player, but now and then they'll sneak around and you get careless with the entry pass, they will take it away. Fall away by Grayson, and it rattles in. Tied at 15, Scott Grayson, that's her seventh point. Honesty, Scott Grayson. So far, Charlie, that's the thing that's been crazy, is Auburn able to get the 15 points, and Unique Thompson only has two. Yeah, very off script for Auburn. Mingo Young slicing through, too strong. And Auburn with a rebound underneath. Jemaya Morris was one against four for that offensive rebound. Alicia Reese worked the perimeter. And knocked away with Jemaya Morris. If you're playing the post and you come out top of, top of the screen and, and slap, you're going to get a foul every time. Terry Williams, Illinois. Now in her ninth season at Auburn. Had a tough year last year. They've had the injuries so far this season. Kaye White, that, that was a big blow for Auburn, losing Kaye White for the entire season. just been an unconventional year, and you say it, for every team. And Charlie, young teams, teams that are learning new systems, it seems like it's hit them harder. Injury bugs, then all of a sudden you're losing players, contact tracing. We're seeing that men and women's side this year. Postponement, you know, State's only played four games in the last month. And that's the thing about college basketball. It's such a routine in a typical year. Women's basketball, you're going to play on Sunday and then again on Thursday, and you do it again, you do it again. You really kind of work yourself into that routine, but no such thing this year for any of these teams. And tipped away off the hands of Jessica Carter. And the Bulldogs turn it over. We talk about that schedule roller coaster. Bulldogs only play their fourth game in a month. They have four over the next week. Knock on wood. Seven postponements or cancellations here this season. And when you're trying to find an identity, you're playing under a new coach, you're trying to sort through a lot of issues, not playing games. Could be the 
worst thing that could possibly happen. And the Bulldogs turn it over again. That's the sixth Mississippi State turnover here in the first quarter. Two seconds and one, and a heave at the bucket. is going to rattle in, and a three-pointer will give Auburn an 18-15 lead as we go to the... Very interesting to see how unique Thompson starts to take over here in this second quarter. Because as you say, as you pull away and you lose focus on her, it's very dangerous. And another Bulldog turnover. Gulabali drives in. And she was standing out of bounds when it came right to her. Bulldogs have just had a tough time keeping up with the basketball. That's their seventh turnover. Auburn has just one. A little different look that time from Auburn defensively as they had settled back and Bulldogs just couldn't handle it. Auburn leading by three is Koulibaly buried a three at the buzzer to end the first quarter. Now Auburn in that zone. And the Bulldogs turn it over again, trying to look for the interior feed the Carter. Now, had a good idea that time, tried to spread the defense and allow Carter to isolate against Thompson, but just couldn't connect with her. Here's Andy Hughes, guarded by Maya Taylor. Five on the shot clock, driving in. Unique Thompson well, didn't have a good angle at all. She was behind the glass. and. Able to get it to go, and Auburn leads by five. Unique Thompson, only her fourth point here early on. Second field goal. Boy, that was a really tough angle. Into Cooks. Nice feed inside. Good catch by Cooks. All the look from Jessica Carter. Cooks back in the lineup today. Matharu was out. Bulldogs went big in their lineup against an undersized Auburn team. Drive to the bucket and blocked from behind by Madison Hayes. Boy, Auburn really struggling to get in sequence on the offensive end. Didn't have a great concept of how they were going to attack that time, so Rice just took it to the goal. Boy, Hayes it was a clean block that time, but lucky she didn't get called for the foul the way she kind of carried through with the block that time. Off a little curl, and Scott Grayson can't get it to fall. Here comes State, down by three. Matharu, a three for the tie. That rattles out. And Thompson claims the rebound. Fourth rebound for Unique Thompson. Needs 10 today to become the all-time leader in Auburn women's basketball history. As Cook blocks the shot. Well, Rice having a tough time right now. We saw Madison Hayes with the block last time down the floor. This time, Cooks gets it. Sydney Cooks with seven points. Jessica Carter has 10. They have all of State's 17 points. But with that height advantage on the inside, that's kind of the MO for the Bulldogs today, you think. Is trying to work the interior against this undersized Auburn team. A quick three from Madison Hayes rattles out. Everybody else is 0 for 6 from the field, other than Jessica Carter or Sydney Cooks. Well, you saw Thompson just kind of quietly grab her fifth rebound so far. After the wing, wide open three, bottom. Alicia Reese. Well, that's a nice job by the post player Thompson that time. Not trying to force anything against multiple defenders. Kept her eyes up. Found the open shooter. Shared the basketball. Inside Cooks makes the spin move and it rattles out. Auburn leading by six. And a deep three 
Step back, buried by Elena Rice. And now Auburn leads by nine. Now Rice said, forget taking the inside, get my shot blocked. I'll just knock down a three. Carter takes the jumper. And Auburn walks with it. Oh, my goodness. Romy Levy got the rebound, had a defender right there with Matharu, and slid her foot. Trying to get that knee brace off that time, just got it locked up on her. Just kind of forgot what she was doing. Oh. Into Rakia Jackson, and she banks it in. And that's the first bucket of the day, first points of the day for Rakia Jackson. Rakia, one of the players we spotlighted in the opening. She had 34 in the ball game against Auburn over on the Plains a year ago. And a big second half. Bulldogs need her to step it up. Thompson went up for the shot. Good defense by Carter. Here's Rakia Jackson in traffic. Count the bucket and foul to Rakia Jackson. With back-to-back -back field goals, she'll go to the free throw line and try to get it back within four. Well, and there you see some of that skill set that Rakia Jackson has, just attacking the defender and getting it to go. Nice athletic play by Rakia. And now Jackson at the free throw line. 59% free throw shooter, and she misses it. And now Auburn turns it over. Well, Tigers went the entire first quarter with just one turnover, and they've turned it over twice here in the last couple possessions. That's really surprising as you kind of look back at this ball game. It hasn't been cleanly played on either end offensively. Yet Auburn, just those three turnovers. Bulldogs have turned it over eight times. And that's kind of an unforced turnover for State. They break the pressure. And Wiggins is standing on the sideline, trying to save it in. Five-point Auburn lead with the ball. Thompson driving in and a foul. Maya Mingo Young rotating over. Man, I think that's who they're going to get. Jemiah Mingo Young picking up the foul, rotating over. That's her first foul. And Auburn will get to the free throw line with Unique Thompson. 79% free throw shooter. That's one of the things that makes Thompson such a threat down low is the ability to get to the line and convert, basically an 80% free throw shooter. Very comfortable at the line. And Auburn quickly back up by seven. Led by as many as nine. Into the corner and the three from Rakia Jackson. And tipped out of bounds on the offside. Levy couldn't handle it. Shot did not draw iron, and it's 19 on the shot clock. Nice cut to the bucket. Rakia Jackson wide open with a little six-footer. That's six points for Rakia Jackson. Bulldogs sent a couple of players streaking towards the wing. Just had Jackson kind of fill in that empty space, got the open look. Drive to the bucket, and the bucket, and the foul. Honestly, Scott Grayson just one-on-one, -on -one, and that will take us to the immediate timeout. So after the Bulldogs get the bucket underneath, Auburn driving in with the guards. The lead is seven for Auburn. Seven steals here early in this one.
And Scott Grayson hits the free throw. Honesty, Scott Grayson giving Auburn an eight-point lead at 31-23. Drive to the bucket, high off the glass. Maya Taylor got a little seam coming down the left side of the lane. First point for Maya. Well, the Bulldogs are going to win this basketball game today. Maya Taylor is going to have to be a big part of that. Boy, it's so important to get really good guard play out front against a team like Auburn that likes to pressure you because the other thing it does, we talked about Mississippi State wanting to use that size advantage, pulls defenders away from the basket. Take a look at Maya Taylor. He's driving in. Saw the seam open up. Auburn didn't rotate over. Jessica Carter picking up her second foul. Kulabali with a spinning jump shot. So that's a big foul here early on, Charlie. Something to watch. Second foul for Carter. Mingo Young has a couple of fouls. And Aisha Kulabali makes a couple free throws. Point lead for Auburn. Wiggins took the jumper from the baseline. And, you know, Auburn's just sitting back in the zone right now, kind of asking State to feed it inside or settle for jump shots. And they've got rebounders galore underneath with that zone. Yeah, Bulldogs not shooting at all well outside the paint. Driving down the right side, there's Honesty Scott Grayson again, and Auburn leads by 10. Now that's her 12th point here in this basketball game. Cooks had it knocked away, got it back, and traveled with it. Got it kind of knocked back at her. Try to make a spin move. Honesty Scott Grayson just worked her way through. And just split some defenders and got herself an easy look, and Auburn with the basketball up by 10. Backing your way in, Unique Thompson had it blocked out of court by Cook. Eighth block of this basketball game by Mississippi State. Auburn looking for their first win in SEC play. And too many steps outside. Gulabali. Too Shuffle quick on the feet. Yeah, too quick of a first step out on that right side. Wide open look from Atharu, and she knocks it home. Bulldogs have made just one of six from long range, but look, Matharu's a player. If you let her square her shoulders, set her feet, she's going to shoot a very high percentage from long range. Even though that was a deep shot, that's one the Bulldogs would be willing for her to take. Drive down the middle of the lane. Left it short. Here comes Madison Hayes. Matharu again, and back-to-back -back threes. Well, that's how you get back in it in a hurry. And the two threes by Matharu cuts a 10-point Auburn lead down to four. As a freshman a year ago, Matharu really showed the ability to come in and light a fire under Mississippi State's offense. Back-to-back -back threes, now active on the defensive end. Well, you get a couple defensive stops, force a turnover, Matharu. Taking a wide open look, knocking it down from the outside. State three of eight shooting behind the three point line in this game. Back outside. And Maya Taylor rams one home. And it's down to one. 
Yeah, Bulldogs been so intent to go inside, go inside, but all of a sudden have knocked down three threes in a row, and it really changed the energy in this building. And a drive to the bucket, left it short. Unique Thompson got the put back. Big bucket for Auburn there to stop the Mississippi State 9-0 run. Rakia Jackson will take a three. And it will stay with Mississippi State. Grayson uh, touched it last. And with a minute 30 to go here in the second quarter. State has not led in this game. We've had some ties, five ties. Auburn has led for 11 minutes in this one. And now Jackson backing her way in and got the bucket. Rakia Jackson with her eighth point. Quick run by State, back within one. Now here in the second quarter late, Bulldogs getting Rakia Jackson involved and starting to make shots from the outside. And an easy drive to the bucket, nice back cut. And that's the thing that really has to drive Nikki McCray Pinson crazy is over the last few weeks, his teams have gotten easy cuts to the bucket and had high percentage shots. Well, that's the thing. Scott Grayson's been good enough as it is, doesn't need the help of the easy look. And a th turnover by State. Scott Grayson comes in, bailed out with a foul. They saw that time. Scott Grayson saw Cooks just kind of back on her heels a little bit. Was not in a good scoring position, but just went on the attack and threw the foul. She's two for three at the free throw line. State looking for a back cut of their own and throwing it into the defender. Cooks got back. Well, the shot clock's going to be off. State can play it for the final shot of the half if they'd like. But only if they get the rebound or the make right here. Yeah, it's a make. Five-point lead for Auburn, 27 seconds to go in the first half. Maya Taylor out top. Auburn staying in that point zone. Trying to fire it inside and threw it away. Here comes Auburn. And a foul on Matharu. And that is the fifth foul on State here in the second quarter. And Auburn's going to go to the free throw line and have two shots with 1.3 seconds to go in the quarter. And that's what will drive coaches absolutely crazy. Now, Bulldogs tried to set up a play to run for the last shot, but have struggled at times trying to feed the ball to the inside. Unique Thompson did a good job batting it away. And now a couple of Auburn free throw looks. And that one rattles off. Lowry at the free throw line. Kyra Lowry. Averaging three points a game. 76% free throw shooter coming in. She makes that one. And that will run out the first half of play. So we go to the locker room and Auburn on the road looking for their first win in SEC play has a six-point lead over Mississippi State in Humphrey Coliseum. Playing loose. Sometimes when you've got a shorter bench, when you're a little under man, you can do that. Levy out top, Auburn with the ball to start the second half, and the Bulldogs getting on the floor. Maya Taylor 
comes up with a loose ball and a jump ball caught and it will belong to the Bulldogs. You know, a year ago when Auburn had that 10 point lead late in the basketball game for Mississippi State, able to force overtime, it all started on the defensive end. You got scoring from Rakia Jackson, but the Bulldogs got everything going through their defense. They're gonna have to step it up on the defensive end again here today. Out to Maya Taylor, wide open look. Wouldn't go, and the fall for on the backside. Carter went flying off the floor, and Maya Taylor goes driving in, and a foul call. And Maya Taylor should be at the free throw line shooting, too. Carter took a spill on the far side. And Way out of bounds. Maya Taylor at the free throw line trying to knock some out of this six point Auburn lead. And she does. You know, Auburn hasn't been called for a lot of fouls, and that's a really important number to keep an eye on. When you're playing shorthanded, you can ill afford to lose players to foul trouble. Auburn has nobody with more than one. Auburn. Looking against pressure and getting back to Rakia Jackson to knock it away. <laughs> Unique Thompson driving in, blocked by Carter. Well, Auburn just wanting to go at Carter, try to put another foul on her totals but did a good job holding her ground. And now a foul on Auburn in the corner. Honesty Scott Grayson picking up the foul. And that's her second foul, team's first, or actually second of the third quarter. That first half, Auburn outscored Mississippi State by eight when Jessica Carter was not in the basketball game. So would not be surprised to see them use a few possessions to go at her on the defensive end with Unique Thompson, trying to get that third foul call. And Auburn turns it over, trying to get too fast. Carter had an open jumper. And missed it. And Auburn a little helter-skelter trying to quickly get it up the floor. Just over a minute deep here in the third quarter. Rakia Jackson spinning. Been able to knock down the spinning jump shot, get it back with it two. Rakia Jackson has 10 points. Good defense by Jemiah Mingo Young. Look inside to Carter, I'm able to spin it off the glass. And Jessica Carter, her first points in a while. She now has 12. And State has come back to tie it after scoring the first six points here in the third quarter. Now we talked about Auburn kind of loose coming out, but all of a sudden Mississippi State with a run. And now the question is going to be, can Auburn maintain its composure? <laughs> Bulldogs on a 6-0 run. Well, did have the feed inside. Melina Rice decided to pull the trigger. Here's Rakia Jackson. Kick out Jemiah Mingo Young. Left it short. And there's that third foul on Jessica Carter on the rebound, getting tangled up with Unique Thompson. Now well, Thompson had position that time. Carter just fighting for the basketball, but got tangled up, and now that's her third foul. And Sydney Cooks will check in, and Carter will come out. Breaking pressure, Auburn with a three on two. 
Boy, Auburn made it look easy that time. Honesty Sky Grayson, a little jumper coming down the lane. Yes, make a note. Point. Make a note, Carter goes out of the ball game. It's a tie game. Let's see how the Bulldogs can play without her. And Rakia Jackson beginning to heat up a little bit. That's her 12th point. Well, and she's going to be a big key for Mississippi State. With Carter out of the ball game, Rakia Jackson going to have to do what she did in that second quarter and really get involved on the offensive end. Unique Thompson try to stick it back, wouldn't go. Mingo Young trying to bounce it inside. Trying to thread a needle down inside to Cooks. So now a battle for it. The possession arrow belongs to Auburn. Now such a tough pass to make to a post player working underneath the goal. Well, Rakia Jackson. When she's on, she can bury 16-footer after 16-footer. And that's what she did in that ball game a year ago when she had 34 against Auburn. It was all in that 12 to 18 range. Rice up the floor. Bulldogs really overplaying on the defensive end, but that time we're going to get Morris coming through. Nick Thompson. Damn entry feed into Yamaya Morris. That's her second personal foul. Second on state here in the second half. Boy, Thompson, quick first step, got right past the defender, lays it in, and as if it was Yamaya Morris that picks up the foul there. Yeah, watch this. Nice job just facing up to the goal, going on the attack, and see if they call it on it. It has to be on Morris, I would think. Yep, got her back-to-back -back fouls. That's her third. And she missed the free throw. Maya Taylor for three. Got it. We had Reese just cutting in front of her. Nice job that time by Taylor knocking down the three and tying it up again. Here comes Auburn up the floor. Thompson backing your way in. And Cooks gets a rebound for State. To Matharu. Had the wide open look. Now here comes Auburn running. Rice will step into one. Left it long. Out to the corner. Jemaya Mingo Young into Cooks. Sydney Cooks spins and shoots the left and short. And yeah, going the fall away approach that time, working against Unique Thompson. Unique Thompson inside, too many steps. Well, Unique Thompson just picked up her 10th rebound. Now the all-time leader at Auburn. And yet another double-double, the 56th of her career. Breaking the record held by Becky Jackson. Leading rebounder in Division I basketball. Thompson has just been so good over her career down on the plains. Kulabali out top. Left it off the left iron. Tied at 47. State driving in. Count the bucket. Matharu driving off left side. 
They call the block, and that should take us to break. And Matharu will be at the free throw line when we come back. Well, Mississippi State down at the half, leading by a pair. Nine forty-six. They had a discrepancy on the video board or the scoreboard a moment ago, and got everything fixed. Mississippi State with the and one takes a four-point lead at fifty to forty-six. They talk about Unique Thompson becoming the all-time leading rebounder, but she's climbing up the list at Auburn in just about every category now. In the thirteenth all-time scoring, right on the edge of the top ten in field goals made. Kulabali, nice move to the bucket, left it short. Rakia Jackson looking to run. Here's Madison Hayes, spinning off the glass, too strong. Under four to go now in the third quarter. Kulabali. Got good position, but well, that all starts with a dribble penetration that you give to Hughes. And end up with an easy lay-in for Koulibaly to getting it back to a two-point game. Big basket that time for Auburn as they had only had very limited success on the offensive end here in the third quarter. Had a foul underneath. Rakia Jackson's going to go to the free throw line. Andy Hughes is going to pick up the foul. Kia Jackson. It's a tough angle. She's right up under the goal. Actually, that's uh, Romy Levy trying to pick up that charge. Kia Jackson just looking for some kind of angle underneath. He was too far up under the rim. That play was really made, though. Jackson able to establish position. Levy just didn't have a chance defensively. And she missed the free throw. Well, over Kia Jackson. Now 0 for 2 at the free throw line. Charlie, last year, Rakia was a pretty good free throw shooter. She shot 72%. This year, she came in at 59%. So she dropped 13% in free throw shooting this year. She's just 1 for 3 today. When you go back to the thing we talked about earlier, missing so many games, you wonder what that absence of a rhythm does to a player. Wide open look, left it short. Jemaya Mingo Young down the middle of the lane to bank it in. State in transition. Pushes the lead back to five. Yeah, Auburn just missed the open look. And what do they say? The first pass and a fast break is the, is the long rebound. Bulldogs got out and running, and Mingo Young just split the defenders that time and gets to the free throw line. First point of the day for Jemiah Mingo Young, the sophomore from Bogalusa, Louisiana. As you missed the free throw. Auburn's been outscored by Mississippi State 17 to 6 here in this third quarter. Five point state lead. Here's Thompson. Turnaround jumper, got the kind iron, and Unique Thompson with her 12th point. Well, Auburn giving Rakia Jackson the look, could knock it down. Bulldogs with the offensive rebound, though, with Jemiah Mingo Young. Maya Taylor for three, left and long. That was the same place that Taylor had knocked down one just a bit ago, but couldn't get that one to go. State 5 of 15 behind the three-point line. One for five here in the third quarter. You know, he started one for six in the first half. One for five here in the second. And Unique Thompson. Unable to draw iron here State. Nice feed inside, Rakia Jackson. 
Sydney Cooks with a pass inside. Rakia Jackson with an easy bucket. That's her 15th point. Good job working the high low that time by Mississippi State. They'll get it back on the turnover. And now Auburn turns it over. And Terry Williams Flanoy will ask for a timeout, and that will take us to break. So 125. But if you I guarantee you talk to Nikki McCray Pinson. She's just worried about the now. Yeah, worried about getting wins. You see LSU in that next four out. Kind of a puzzling team. They've got some big wins. They beat Texas AM. They've got some losses that are hard to explain, but right now, under 500 overall in the year. So they're going to have trouble getting off that bubble. Five on the shot clock. Sydney Cooks rattles out. Inside of a minute to go in the third quarter. Mississippi State has outscored Auburn by 11 here in the third quarter. Driving in, Kulabali. Bulldogs just didn't go for the rebound. And an offensive foul on Auburn. Got out of control. Elena Rice before she passed it off. Auburn led by six at the break, 42-36. State has limited Auburn to just eight points here in the third quarter. Run it all the way down here. And almost run out the third quarter with this possession. About a three and a half second differential. Inside. Spinning shot by Sydney Cooks. And a heave at the buzzer. Won't go. And Mississippi State outscoring Auburn 21 to 8 in the third quarter. And take a seven point lead. Sydney Cooks. The spinning shot. The Bulldogs lead by seven. And then against Missouri at home this Sunday. So we're in the stretch run right now. Three out of the corner. Off the front iron from the far roof. Rakia Jackson puts it back. Rakia Jackson now with 17 points. Really nice job working that time on the offensive glass by Rakia Jackson. She was battling with Unique Thompson down there, but Jackson got it, put it back up and in, and the Bulldogs up nine. Ball knocked free by Matharu. One on one with Rice off the glass. Count the bucket and the foul. Matharu goes coast to coast. Well, that's what she can do. She is an absolutely dynamic player. You see the ball not loose. Matharu just goes on the attack, takes it straight at Rice. Got the basket, she'll get the free throw. Really nothing Rice could do right there. And Matharu gives Mississippi State a 12-point lead. The State has looked like a different team here in the second half. Well, yeah, they certainly have. Outscored Auburn 21-8 in the third and five quick ones. It's none for Auburn here to start the fourth. And now they're going to get Jessica Carter with a push in the back, and that's her fourth. And that's what's crazy, Charlie. State's done all of this without the Jessica Carter on the floor. Yeah, you go back to the first half. Mississippi State really struggled when Carter was out of the ball game. But here in the second half, answering the challenge much more effectively. Yeah, sorry. I had a left hand in the back. Now, hand check out top. Sidney Cook's going to get hit with a foul. And that's her third. Watch the three, watch the three. Well, Unique Thompson wide open at the right elbow. Stepping outside. That's her 14th point to go along with 11 rebounds. Double, double day, 56th of her career. And now State turns it over on the entry pass. Yeah. 
And you need Thompson, the offensive rebound, and she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. L. Scott Grayson had the look, couldn't get it to go. You need Thompson tried to clean it up. We'll get to the free throw line. Kind of the story all year for Auburn. It's been those two. They're the, the pair in double figures for Auburn right now. And if Auburn's going to come back and win this basketball game, they're going to have to give even more here in the fourth. Well, that's the thing. Unique Thompson can make you pay at the free throw line. That's her 15th point. Left it short and an offensive rebound for Auburn. The state led by 12 just a moment ago. And now another reach in and boy, the state really having the fouls add up in a hurry right now in this possession. They'll get Mafaru for this one. Although, could have They're given it a few places. They gave it to Mafaru. Fly by Yamaya Morris and a loose ball foul on Auburn. Alicia Reese with a loose ball foul. Jemaya Mingo Young going for the ball on the floor. Now Auburn going to pressure. They've given the State some trouble with the pressure today. Kia Jackson had it blocked by Unique Thompson. Nice cut to the bucket, great feet inside, and Scott Grayson running the floor well. Wide open layup. That's her 20th point for Honesty Scott Grayson. And Rakia Jackson tripped on her way to the bucket. That's that point of the ball game, Bart, where neither team can afford a scoring drought. We've seen Mississippi State have those now and then. Go back and look at Honesty Scott Grayson. Now he just got the feet, had the easy look. And Rakia just one for four at the free throw line today. She has 17 points, eight field goals, and makes that one. And she will come out of the game. Aliyah Matharu will check in. Kill the Bali out top. Left her alone. And the rebound stayed. Here's Madison Hayes all alone will lay it in. Yeah, just leaked out a little bit early and got the easy look. Now, Unique Thompson up and under. Nice move by Unique Thompson. Wow, that's a really strong move by the veteran that time. State pushed the lead back to double figures. Auburn right back to eight. Three minutes gone by here in the fourth quarter. Maya Morris took the hook shot, didn't draw iron. Auburn running, Unique Thompson in traffic. And she'll go to the free throw line and shoot two. Well, that's one of those where Thompson's only real positive opportunity was to get fouled. That was a difficult pass to handle that had nothing to do with it. Once she caught it in that spot, but able to pick up the foul call and we'll get to the free throw line. Charge foul to Maya Taylor. Maya picks up her first foul. 
Sydney Cooks and Jessica Carter have four fouls each. That's something to look at here in the last few minutes of the game. Yamaya Morris has three. Trying to keep up with Unique Thompson down in the low post. He rattles that free throw in. And Thompson, one of two at the free throw line. Back to a seven-point game. Inside, Madison Hayes got the bucket. Nice look inside from Sidney Cooks. Yeah, good job of finishing by Hayes around the goal. And now Unique Thompson trying to take over right now. Got a kind roll. That's her 20th point. Thompson has 20. Scott Grayson has 20. Matharu out top. Off the left iron, ironed, and it will carry him out of court and belong to Auburn. Well, seven-point game, six minutes to go. Big possession here for Auburn. Bulldogs really trying to pick up the intensity on the defensive side right now. Thompson just trying oh, to take over. Wow. Auburn's outscore state 12 to 10 here in the fourth. Bulldogs led by seven at the end of three. Now it's back to a five point game. Oh, that is some tough contested points for Unique Thompson last couple of trips down. Here's Rakia Jackson going over the left hand. Too strong. And a foul on the rebound. It's going to go against Sidney Cooks. And if that is Cooks, that's her fifth. Yeah, so Cooks will be done for the day. Jessica Carter will come back in. She's carrying four right now. So foul trouble could be an issue for the Bulldogs here in this final five minutes. So Cooks fouls out with 521 to go. And Auburn shooting free throws. Honesty Scott Grayson trying to cut into this five-point Bulldog lead. Scott Grayson with her 22nd. Auburn, 44 of their 64 have come from Unique Thompson or Honesty Scott Grayson. Matharu for three. And that's a big shot for State to push the lead from three to six. Halfway home here in the fourth. Wide open look out top. Yeah. Yeah, didn't threaten the goal that time. Levy threw up a concrete block. Driving shot. Uh, Rice wanted the foul call, had some contact. No call. Now the Bulldogs attack. Bouncing in transition, and what a big time bucket for Jessica Carter. This the first one, got a rebound and a tough bucket for Jessica. Carter with her 14th point that will send us to break in Mississippi State. Rattled off five in a row. We have the free throw line to try to expand it, leading by eight over Auburn. Or would you steal it? Well, we're trying to be kind here. Family broadcast. Carter with a free throw. Old-fashioned three-point play back to the nine-point game. Now ball loose on the floor, stolen away. Mingo Young is going to go to the free throw line. What a great effort that time by Mississippi State. <laughs> Defensively. Romy Levy says, I didn't hear no whistle. Man, the Bulldogs will be at the free throw line shooting, too. You see Maya Taylor doing a good job denying the inbounds. 
able to get the basketball, handed to Mingo Young, who threw the contact. <laughs> Whistle not loud enough for everybody. Van Levy will check out. And Mingo Young at the free throw line shooting two. It rattles off. State is a team today, 9 of 15 at the free throw line. Even 60%. Missed them both. Lowry out top for Auburn. You know, for Auburn, every possession becomes important. Time winding down and trailing by nine. Jumper short. And the rebound, Jessica Carter. Her seventh rebound to go along with her 15 points. Yeah, Scott Grayson just forced that one. And now for Mississippi State, don't have to be in a hurry here. Jump shot, Rakia Jackson, strong. And the rebound, Auburn. It's a quick shot, under four to go. Unique Thompson. Now Mississippi State got it down the floor in a hurry, but Maya Taylor is gonna back it out. Drive to the bucket, wide open, missed the shot, but there's Rakia Jackson for her 20th point on the second chance point. Well, Mississippi State has outscored Auburn in second chance points, 19 to four today. That's been the difference for Mississippi State. Carter and Jackson have done a great job on the offensive glass. And you can see these last couple of trips, Thompson and Scott Grayson just forcing shots on the offensive end. that last play. Unique Thompson. Bulldogs doubling Thompson. Rakia Jackson and Kulabali went over there. Get it? They said it went off Rakia Jackson and Auburn off the inbound. Sky Grayson with a jumper. Came out limping just a little bit. Not sure if she landed on somebody's foot on the shot or what may have happened, but looks to be moving okay now. Back within nine. Carter, that is swatted away by Unique Thompson. Carter playing with four fouls for Mississippi State. Rice for Auburn playing with four. Matharu, out to Carter, wouldn't go. And the offensive rebound chased down by State. Well, it didn't pull it back out and got it to Matharu. And now a foul as <laughs> Jemiah Mingo Young was going. And now, Charlie, you've got a couple of different ways you can look at this and say, hey, we're going to try to score as many points as we can. Or do you go to the Stansbury stall, pull everything back out? I mean, that's the whole question you got right there. Well, up nine with about two and a half minutes to go. I think I'm pulling that thing out a little bit. I'm certainly not going to take a look from three early in the shot clock. And Mingo Young hits the free throw. Missed a couple just a moment ago. Let's get some more this time. Mingo Young hits the free throw. Four points now for Jemiah. Auburn running. Unique Thompson missed the shot. And now Nikki McCray stands up and says, stop, slow it down as we reach the two minute mark to go. State leading by 11. And Jessica Carter. Saw Nikki McCray Pinson throw her hands to the side and say, hey, why did you take that shot? But Auburn turns it right back over. will apply full core pressure. Hey. 
And Maya Taylor in no hurry at all, it would appear. And now Mathiru will take the three. Offside rebound, Carter puts it back in and scores it. Now that's really been the story for Mississippi State today. When they've had success, it's been with Jessica Carter and Rakia Jackson just cleaning up missed shots. 21 second chance points for the Bulldogs. Kula Bali missed the shot. Unique Thompson got the rebound. Inside of a minute to go. Well, State looking for their first win in a while. And the push underneath is going to go against Carter, and that's going to be her field. So Carter fouls out with 52 seconds to go. Sydney Cooks fouled out with 5.21 to go. And she will come out of the game. Jessica Carter, 17 points, eight rebounds. Seven for four, seven for 14 shooting from the field. And even 50% for today. Eight rebounds in the basketball game for Carter, but five of those on the offensive end and really helped be the difference for Mississippi State today. And that's the most points that Carter's had since the 19 against Ole Miss on January the 10th. Of course, that's the last state win of the season. And a timeout taken by Nikki McRae Pinson with 45 seconds to go, and the Bulldogs leading by 13. Well, Charlie, here's the thing about this game. Well, it's certainly big for Mississippi State, a team that still has aspirations of making it back to the NCAA tournament. But right now we saw them picked by Charlie Cream as a seven, seven seed in the NCAA tournament. But they've got to get there first, and it's all about getting wins, and they're going to have plenty of opportunities here over the next week. And Maya Taylor split the defenders, lays it in, and it's a 15-point game. State has LSU and Missouri left on the schedule. On the road in Baton Rouge, LSU's been an up and down team this season. And then you've got Missouri coming in here on Sunday. And State just trying to get something headed in the right direction. Yeah, talk about LSU being an up and down team. You beat Texas A&M, you play South Carolina close twice, but then just some kind of head scratching losses like to Florida. And Rice hits both free throws with 20 seconds to go. And Dickie McCray Pinson wants to take another timeout. 20 seconds to go. That Bulldogs really have dominated here in the second half, have outscored Auburn 45 to 26 in the half. thought the Bulldogs did a much better job on the defensive end here in the second half than they did in the first, playing with a lot more tenacity, a lot more effort on ball defending. We saw Matharu really working hard on the ball at times. You know, Barton, this Mississippi State team, it looks like still has a lot to figure out, still trying to figure out where their rotations are where their minutes are going to be shared. The only way you solve those issues is to get in game action and, and play some games. And Auburn not going to foul, and that ought to do it. Well, Mississippi State is going to get a much-needed win here today in start. Well, early tip at 5 o'clock, down by 6 at the half. And that stops a five-game losing streak. So the Bulldogs are now 9-7, win their fourth league.